Hello and welcome by the Orchid Saga. Welcome by another Blooms, Buds and Such video, which is just a uh, regular update on my uh, greenhouse and orchid room. So yeah, uh, first of all, I have this, uh, my biggest avenda here with all the keikis and you probably can see it's wet. So I dropped some water on it, which wasn't uh, planned, but it happened. <laughs> So therefore I have it uh, in front of this van, so it can dry up. And it's in the morning, but I uh, have my lights on, as you can see, because it's a very dull day today. We finally uh, do get some rain, some real rain. So just not a few drops, but a little bit more. But thereby it's a little bit dark. So I thought, well, it's the time of year where I need my lights more often anyway. So let's uh, install them all again. Well, I still had them hanging, but I needed to connect it, uh, them again. So now I have this uh, view with the lamps again, which always makes it a little bit more cozy, I think. But uh, I prefer the uh, natural daylight because the plants like it a little bit more. But on, uh, like I said, it makes it a little bit uh, cozier. I think it uh, looks very nice. I even have some lamps there. I need to uh, do something about this uh, wrapping. Uh, plastic but that will uh, will come soon so yeah uh, updates and such and blooms but uh, first an update i have two cymbidiums this is my uh, miniature cymbidium and my large one over here i had them uh, in that corner here over there in the back in my greenhouse and then i realized that i do not need this heater well, actually, I don't use it because it takes a very long time to heat up the place, even uh, if it really can heat up the place, as it should. Uh, so therefore, I don't use it, and I use those smaller heaters. Those are way more efficient than this big one. So I had some stuff laying around and not really using this area. And I didn't want to buy more Symbidians because they kind of take up quite some space. But now I thought, why, this, why not use this space? Clear it out, put the stuff aside that I uh, need on occasion, and make a Sibidium place with some uh, Cornifer plants. But uh, so yeah, I uh, ordered uh, yesterday three new Sibidiums, so they uh, will arrive uh, pretty soon, I guess. And I'm planning on doing an unboxing for those. So I have this beautiful Sibidium wall, and above I have this beautiful mainly uh fails i have a few big dendrobiums there as you can see but so i really have this uh wall of plants i think that's uh, that's the idea about it and on occasion because mine are already uh, spiking this one has one spike here there one there and another one going over there so on occasion we will have these beautiful long spikes coming out of the cymbidiums with uh, with those beautiful blooms so I decided, yes, in this case, I would like some cymbidiums. Otherwise, I didn't do it because they take up so much shelf space. And I really want to uh, grow the other orchids a little bit more. But I'm really happy that I, uh, that I came up with this idea and make a uh, very simple shelving over there. So they are a little bit uh, lifted from the, from the ground. At least those the ones, I may put a few on the, on the ground as well. They can take cooler temperatures so I have some options there and while we're looking at this beautiful uh, fail I reminded uh, of, I remember that this one this is my uh, dendrobium chrysanthemum orange the yellow one is more um, more uh, available but I have the orange one and this one is finally starting to budding up as you can see, those whoops, those little nubbins. And this one doesn't have as much as I would hope because this is a very long cane, but who knows? I think this is the longest cane that I have. I have one without the leaves. This one here that I grew on in the house, it was about 210 or 220 centimeters. But I do think that this one is even a bit longer because it makes a different uh, turn there and then down here because I, so it looks smaller but i think if it would straighten up it will uh, go even further so at least above two meters two canes and then it after that one it would grow this one as well so it was working on two canes and this one isn't 
as long, but still a very long cane. And also this one is starting to make the buds. And this one seems to get a few more. So yeah, really uh, excited about that. This one blooms once a year, normally end of uh, August. But since I have it in the greenhouse, it takes a little bit longer. Maybe it needs uh, the shorter days to bloom or a bit cooler. I'm not sure. It wasn't that cool yet here, so I don't think that's really the case. But it doesn't really matter that much, of course. So those were the first updates. Then I had a, a request which I thought I can uh, include in this video, how, uh, how my Ivan Gara is doing. And I'm sorry, I don't remember on top of my head your name, but you did also ask for the green elf, but I think you mean the golden elf. And this is the golden elf. And as you can see, it's really doing well. It's turning into such a beautiful plant with two directions of growth, one sheet there. And let me look. Yeah, I think I see a tiny sheet coming there as well. But you can see it's, especially the one on the left is uh, getting bigger, the cane. So that's doing fine. Let me put it over here because it's in front of the other Ivanagara. So yeah, it's a little bit, it had a hint of purple there. Not too much, so I think it's okay. But you can see it's really uh, starting to uh, getting bigger. So yeah, a new root here going down. So yeah, that one is doing very well. That's my golden elf, very precious one. And uh, also is this one, look at this. This is a, one of the new canes. A little discolored here, probably a little bit too much light, I'm not sure. But it has a sheet in there as well. And it has another new growth here. And a lot of roots as you can see. So that one is doing well as well. And uh, that's I have another one, not a division, and that one is over here. And you can see those this one has two new growths as well, and both having sheets on them as well. And roots, I hope you can see them. So yeah, we have roots in the pot, new roots, you can see them there. So yeah, I get I uh, can say that all three of them are doing fairly well. Beautiful clean leaves now. So, uh, yeah, and this one is getting a little less light than the ones over there, so just for me, just to see if they do better or not. So far, that one has a little bit discoloration, a bit more purple than that one, so maybe it could live without uh, that amount of l uh, light, could have a little less. I don't know if you can see it, but it's a little bit purple in there. But so just a little bit is uh, fine, I think. And then just a quick update on my uh, Africana. The both of them, you can see the roots here. It's crazy. And this one, and I think this one is, the this big one is making a spike. Let me zoom in. I think this is becoming a spike. So I hope it doesn't mind a bit duller days. <laughs> we had quite a lot of sunshine and warmth. So it started that spike, but I hope it will continue to bloom. So that's happening over there. Then I just recently f was on a visit to the uh, Arc and I found this one. This is a uh, cross with the Rene Marques. And it's just, it was soaking wet. So just have it here to dry up a little bit. But I really enjoy these blooms and it did remind me of the Rene Marques instantly. So I, you can really see that uh, that is one of the parents. So that's a newbie over here. <laughs> well, my vanilla. It's a new branch. It's luckily is growing. I didn't have much luck with my vanilla. Constantly stopped growing. I once I did rot, sprayed the plant, and it, uh, it caused the top to rot. And that one stopped because it had uh, aphids on it, and I didn't see them. So yeah, but it's uh, on the road again. So let's hope my psychopsis just repeat, uh, uh, repeat, uh, repotted um, not that long ago. And this one is uh, working on the new roots here. 
this one and there's one in the back as well I'm sorry so that looks fine but this one wasn't in a, in, in a good shape so I hope this one will uh, will grow on and become stronger again I will have a Tolumnia first time bloomer here and look at that green color on those veins and this one they are doing so much better the color is absolutely fantastic I hope a camera doesn't do justice but it's really such a beautiful green color this one is a bit lighter but I just recently found this spike and this spike it's just completely missed it but this one has making two spikes the Zelmina Midas is this one oops and uh, this one is getting better I believe we have a new growth here that is a way beautiful uh, better color and this one as well so this is one is recovering and then one my saddest one is still alive and slowly but surely working on a new leaf and I saw some new roots going into the pot this one was in a bad shape when I bought it but I thought yeah let's give it a try but Mm, I'm not going to do that again because it takes a heck of a long time to recover them at least in this case maybe the plant isn't well to start with but like I said it takes quite quite a long time let's get over here <coughs> and have a look at these guys I had this one this is the first one that I bought it's a billabong brushia of brushia type billabong with those beautiful green and purple uh, flowers and then I think a few months after I bought this one it's about two years ago maybe three I found the Alba version and I have both of them at the same time in bloom so you can uh, compare and I must admit normally I do like the Albas a bit more but in this case I don't I just like this one a bit better the colors are a little bit more vibrant and I think that the purple works a bit better with that green um, than the white lip on the Alba version but yeah you can see they look the plants do look very similar and of course also the spikes I hope you can see it they both have branches down here this one there so yeah they uh, you obviously can see that they are uh, a family <laughs> and this one is my blue happiness and i never had such a strong spike on this one and i cannot remember i even had two spikes but this one has quite a few buds on there so that's something to look forward to this beautiful taiwan black we have here and yes in the back i have a first time bloomer look at this isn't it a beauty let me see this is fairly freshly opened yeah a very beautiful spike I'm really happy to see those ones and this one is now going over this one is normally not that long in bloom but the bloom was better than before those two are getting stronger again and then we have this beautiful pink one you may saw I've seen this in my uh, blooming update you can now see that those two spikes are opening up as well so we have five huge spikes i think <laughs> it's absolutely it's all going all the way up to here beautiful show and more spikes here on my dendromifeniopsis there is a spike that one that's the purple happiness has a spike the one in the back it's the uh, banana banana something but it has another spike here coming from the apex and from an older cane also from the apex a spike so three spikes and never had it blooming that well and growing that well so these uh, these uh, the Dorobium family apses really do like the warmer weather the more lights they do very well with it so that's that's nice to see very nice do we have something over here this is my yellow Dendrobium, um, I can see the tag, what's the official name, here's the tag, oh sorry, 
Yeah, it's a Brescia Orange Delight. Did skip my mind for a second, but I <laughs> really have to repot it. I hope you cannot hear this one too much, but uh, in the background, you can see it's a fairly large plant, become a very large plant. Plant, I should say. I think. <laughs> plant or plant. Um, with two spikes. Beautiful yellow orangey blooms, as the name does uh, suspect as well. So, yeah. I've tried to, I will try to find a bigger pot for it, so I don't have to take parts off. And can you believe it? I already, I think about three years ago, I did to take two parts off of this plant. And now it's big again, so it really likes to grow. It's, it's also a bit of a climber, so we have a bit of a challenge there. Um, I have some new pots ordered, more like the one next to it, but I'm not sure if it's even big enough. Oops. We shall see. <laughs> but yeah, I really like to uh, grow mine uh, like these two beauties, more specimen size sizes. These are just all the leaves, so don't worry, they will fall off one day. And look at this. Um, Oh, what's your name? What's your name? Club SCI. I'm sorry for the shaking. But look at that spike. How long that spike is. Absolutely. Trinomus, I think. Maybe it's normal, but last time it did, uh, last year it was, uh, I think, about half, maybe. But this one is very large. Then I have these guys here. This one is also blooming. The first time bloomer. Let me lift it a little bit. Very strange shaped bloom, but nonetheless very beautiful, I think. And we have this one, it's the creamy one. Maybe you remember this one. I have a video somewhere where I was cutting the leaves of this one because it, I thought it had a virus or something like that. Uh, it, it may have a virus or had. And then I thought, well, when I just bought it, it did grow very well for me. And then I realized that I had it in a greenhouse and not in an orchid room. So I put it here and you probably can see that we do get green leaves again. And obviously all those blooms. It didn't bloom for me anymore. So yeah, it has some way. We have another bloom here to uh, become a nice plant to look at again. But it's really working on it. I think there's a spider nest somewhere in it. Yeah. Hmm. That wasn't the plan. <laughs> but uh, yeah, you can see these leaves are getting uh, getting better. So it, it needed me a more uh, more daylight, I believe. Yeah, and this one in the middle. So I might let it grow on, and then. One day I'm going to repot it and divide it, I think. But once again, I like my orchids specimen size better. So who knows, who knows. So to one, I'm working on one, two, three new growths already. And also all those spikes. I think that there are even coming more spikes here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, yeah, and new growth there. Four new growths, nine spikes. Not bad, I think, not bad. Beautiful, right? So that's an update there. Another update which I really like is that I, this is the first time ever that I have a sunset with two, sec uh, two spikes. So this is my newest sunset, <laughs> but it uh, does make this uh, spike here as well so two spikes here and just yesterday i found out that it's making a spike here on this new growth but in there i don't know if you can see it yeah i think you can see it now there is a uh, secondary spike so four spikes that's good that's good this one is always giving me one spike as it does now this is my first uh, sunset the spotted one so yeah a lot of purple, <laughs> twinkles, all my twinkles are spiking, 
sounds like I have a whole collection. I have four, but uh, you can see all those spikes. They really, really uh, do their best to spike. This one is the largest one ever that I can remember. So that's good as well. Then down here we have the my Wilbur Chang. Maybe one of you guys is m more experienced with it. I cannot get it to bloom so far. I do have all those light green bulbs, our new bulbs, so it's growing like crazy. Maybe I just have to wait and one day it will start some spikes. But I keep checking this because I was expecting more. We can see, whoops, all those bulbs here are new. From last year, this year, most of them this year even, I think. So and the bulbs are getting bigger, as you probably can see. It's the one that's very small, very big. So maybe it just needs time, I don't know. Maybe, who knows. And then just a short little update, because I know some guys like the carnivore, carnivore plants as well. I moved this cane because it's so long. And it's growing and it's growing and it's growing. It's now over here and I had it hang a little bit higher just underneath that red pot there but it was almost touching the roof so I now have it here and I have it a little bit in an angle now yeah, it's crazy I had no idea they can grow this big probably not all of them but this one is really uh, it has two new growths as well so yeah Beautiful, I think it looks very, very nice. A, bit, uh, a little bit like a jungle. <laughs> so, uh, I think this uh, was the updates for the greenhouse. So let's go into the orchid room. Just a quick look around because I have some nice spikes like this one. I maybe filmed it one day on my channel, I can't remember, but this is, uh, hadn't bloomed for two years. Chalotini, Lin yeah, Linda. Luckily, I, I did forget one letter. Yeah, I think it's Linda. It's an old flower spa, uh, flower from a different orchid. <laughs> My Dracula is, this is the same spike that it did bloom on earlier. So the old bloom was on there above and it's making, a, it's branching, it's making a new one. I had no idea they can do that, but apparently they can. Uh, over here, not much new. Oh yeah, this is a great one. Look at this. And there is another one. Just opening up. Well, this one is, is a little bit longer up, but I uh, meant that one. I hope you can see it. It's so strange with all those teeny tiny blooms. And did something. So yeah, you may have re recognized it already. And this is him. It's the Magnum version. Oops. And this was a birthday uh, gift from last year for my niece and very good friend. So yeah, and this one is really starting to make roots and finally it started to make new growths with uh, those beautiful, very strange flower spikes, in my uh, opinion. So yeah, all good news, but I have a little bit of sad news as well. I found that my master values are not, not as happy as I would like to have them. Even though this one is spiking, it's branching. Oh, this one as well. I thought it were new spike. I had no idea this one could do that. So this one is doing a bit better, but the leaves are fairly dark. This is my Ignea. Not happy, not happy. So not sure what to do. I put it over here so it had, could get a little bit more daylight. Yeah, on the other hand, this one is making new growth, but this one didn't make it. So yeah, not sure, not sure yet what happened there. So yeah, not, not everything is going well. My Pragnopidium, I put it on a stand because it's getting so big. 
and I wait for the blooms. I hope, I really hope this one starts to bloom because then I might have several spikes. Can you believe it? On this plant, that would be great. <laughs> so yeah, I thought I put it here so the leaves have a little bit more room to hang and we don't have this type of things happening constantly. Because it's a little bit sad, of course. It looks so beautiful on its own. Only with the leaves. So uh, yeah, I give it a little bit more room. And you guys, I cannot get over it. Manelli Eilers, because look at this. This is a new spike, but how long that spike is. I never had them blooming so well. And you can see those spikes going all the way there. These guys coming. So this one is having that spike as well. It's a very long one. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six. Six spikes so far. On only this one, the Swiss Beauty, and then the dark red one. I can't remember the name on top of my head. It has one, uh, whoops, one uh, spike, and one new growth. Actually, two new growths I see now. And then I have the orange version, with this beautiful spike, but also in the back there. You can see it's leaning that way. It's also making a spike. So yeah, this is a good good year for my uh, Nelly Eilers. And this is my um, Andocidium Undo, Hensler Eisler. Let me show you the tag. Maybe that works better. <laughs> it's a first time bloomer for me. It's almost there. It's almost there. So yeah, this is going great. Yeah, same story here. Look at these spikes. I never had them so long. It's going all the way up here. All the way back to the plant. So yeah, it's very, very long. It makes another one. Can you see it's already touching the light? So that's a bit of a problem these days. Those spikes, where to where to put them? They were getting so long. <laughs> so yeah, I'm, I'm happy with that, of course. Whoops, I was touching this one. You see, talking about spikes. All the way up there. So yeah, I need to watch this because uh, you see this moving around because I touched it with my uh, my leg when I was moving uh, over there. I don't want to break it, of course. Don't want to break it. Isn't it beautiful? Yellow, red, and purple. I love it. I love it a lot. Okay, I'm starting to ramble, but I want to show you just an update and to tell you guys that we have a few more coming. Quite a few, I think. And um, yeah, we have even one here. Um, I have something coming my way, <laughs> a package. I just did uh, buy them yesterday. Uh, it's uh, actually a birthday um, on unboxing. I will have soon because Monday, I, uh, I'm, I, uh, it's my birthday. And yes, it's going to happen because, <laughs> of, not because, um, I'm going to uh, turn 40 is the plan, the plan. So uh, yeah, that's something I think. It's a little bit of a milestone, I think. Because when I was younger, I thought 40 years is so old, it's so old. And luckily, don't get me wrong, luckily I'm going to turn 40, as it seems to be. I'm really happy that, uh, that I get older. Some people uh, do not like getting older. I don't get it, because I think, be happy to get older, right? Yes, you may not like some things, but actually, I do like older people. They have their uh, their own charm as well. Anyhow, I'm, uh, I'm a little bit of a side road there, but uh, yeah, I'm turning turning 40, and I did uh, buy some cibidiums, as you know, as I just uh, told you, and that was a bit of my unboxing. Then yesterday evening, I was uh, watching eBay, and I found. Seriously, guys, my most wanted orchid ever for sale. I just cannot believe it. I, I need to see it bloom to be sh absolutely 100% sure it's the right one because it took me about five years, four or five years to find it. If you follow my channel, you probably know which one I'm talking about because I always, if we have that category in uh, in uh, for the video, if we talk about that specific uh, category of uh, orchids 
my most favorite ones. You should have known by now, I think. <laughs> um, I always tell you guys that there's one missing, one color especially. And uh, uh, it seems that I found it. And that's the first one on the list. The second one is a white with a, a with a black, it's not really black, but a black uh, center in a bloom. Same category of plant, same genus, I should say. Um, and they were selling that one as well, so I cannot believe it. My, basically, my most two most wanted plants at the moment are uh, seem to be on the way to this uh, greenhouse, to this orchid room, I should say, because I grow them in the, in the orchid room. That's one more hint, and I'm going to leave it with that. <laughs> so that uh, is going to be such a beautiful video, such a beautiful su su uh, surprise. Um, just a little teaser here. So that's coming up in about, I think, two weeks, something like that. Then it uh, will be uh, up and running on my channel. So I think I just, oh, I almost forget. Just one more bloom to just, I just cannot keep, stop filming the blooms, you guys, and the spikes. Peggy Root Carpenter just opened up. Beautiful, beautiful. Anyhow, I don't want to make this way too long. So you see them, I'm moving again. I just keep forgetting it. it and, and I need to turn. Now, normally I don't get in this corner, just to avoid that. And I will give it a little bit more room so it can grow in towards the light. <laughs> so um, anyhow, thank you so much for watching. And of course, if you have any questions or you would a update on a specific plant like we did on the Ev Ivanagaras, Thank you for that request one more time. <laughs> I really enjoy it and I would like, uh, I, I don't mind. I, uh, I can show every plant uh, I have, of course. So just let me know. And, and like I said, if you have any questions also, I would like to hear them and I try to answer them as quickly as I can. Thank you for watching and I really hope to see you at one of my next videos. Bye-bye.